Conservancy in Laikipia North could not hide their joy as 21 Eastern Black Rhinos were translocated to the Conservancy, marking the return of the animals for the first time in over 40 years. The last time that happened is 1982, 83. Now that exercise was conducted by the government con conservation groups from various parks and of course the conservancies to reduce congestion. Speaking during the official opening of the Conservancy Tourism and Wildlife Cabinet Secretary, Dr. Alfred Mutua said the exercise was conducted with great caution after a scientific study, which uh, with more expected to boost tourism in that area, as Ken Gashuhi now reports. For 18 days, experts and officers from the Kenya Wildlife Service have been undertaking a rigorous exercise of translocating 21 eastern black rhinos from various parts of the country, including Lewa and Olpejeta conservancies in Nairobi National Park. <laughs> Their new home now is at Loisaba Conservancy, Laikipia North, the country's 17th rhino sanctuary, which was on Tuesday officially opened by Tourism and Wildlife Cabinet Secretary Dr. Alfred Mutua. Today we stand here proud that 21 rhinos have been moved here so that they could have, they can get a better life. As the Director General of KWS said that these rhinos are very moody. Uh, when they are squeezed together, they decide not even to breed. The exercise was conducted with great caution after a scientific study, which satisfied the experts that the new habitat is viable for them, drawing lessons from the death of over eight rhinos translocated from Nairobi to Savo National Park in 2018. So the translocation was done from an expertise perspective. The way they are, they are caught, the way they are transported, the way they are reintroduced into the new society. Most of them, I believe, they are all tagged, and so we are monitoring where they are. Since 2018, we've been uh, you know, unable to do it because we've been scared. If this succeeds, that means that we can do more and more and more, and that, that is good for the rhinos. That means they'll be able to produce at a faster rate. Among those translocated to Loisaba are 11 females and 10 males. The oldest named Seiya, aged 24 years, and the youngest by the name Safia, aged 5 years. That gives us a, a founder breeding population. We're very confident we'll hit breeding rates of it in excess of 5% within two years. So that will mean we'll let that growth rate will start and continue stable and we should hope to get better than 5%. Until 1970s, Kenya was home to over 20,000 rhinos, a number which drastically dropped to below 400 by 1989 due to poaching. Loisaba was historically home to the eastern black rhinos before the last one was killed in the late 70s by poachers. <laughs> Bringing back of the rhinos to Loisaba has been embraced by the local community, which has vowed to play an active role in their protection. And we thank God because his conservation spirit is following us. We are proud because we have made sure that the rhinos are back in this landscape. Of course, we are doing this conservation for the future generations. Uh, again, we are doing because it is a national heritage. Data from the Kenya Wildlife Service indicating that conservation efforts have paid up with the number of rhinos in the country increasing to nearly 2,000. Tourism and Wildlife CS Dr. Alfred Mutua saying that poaching remains the main risk for the rhinos even as the government closes its doors for sport hunting in the country. When you do sport hunting, people are hunting, they're getting into that uh, uh, culture where we were of ivory, of rhino horns, you know, and if they don't get enough from the sport hunting, what will they do? They'll come for the ones that arrive. You'll start hearing that Aloisaba rhino is missing its, its, you know, its horns because now we've introduced that market into the world. So we're sending a message to the rest of our African brothers and sisters that uh, you know, where we are right now, the idea, the issues of hunting, you know, so that uh, you can do it for sports, is, is gone. Ken Gashohe, KTN News. 40 years, that area has never seen a wild life or any form of wild 